I'm Ken Reed, and this is a little hockey card history. Hockey card history from the point of view of my collection. These are my top 10 tough guy cards. Now, you may have differing opinions. You may have cards, and you're saying, well, why didn't this card make it in? Well, because probably because I don't have it. So these are my top 10 tough guy hockey cards. We want to start with this beauty. 73, 74 OPG, Phil Roberto. Now, Phil wasn't necessarily the toughest of tough guys, but he could hold his own. The reason I love this card, he's actually in a fight on a hockey card. And if you're wondering who he's fighting, this is the best part. He's fighting Billy Smith. The Hall of Famer Billy Smith was in his rookie year. Billy Smith could always take care of himself. So right here, he's fighting Phil Roberto. How good is that? Phil Roberto, by the way, assisted on Jean Beliveau's 500th career goal when he was with the Montreal Canadiens as a rookie. And... In his only WHA season, he played for the Birmingham Bulls. They were tough. Now, Phil was a pretty tough guy, but on this team, he wasn't the toughest because he played with the likes of, oh, geez, I don't know, off the top of my head, Dave Hansen, Gilles Bilodeau, Steve Dravano, some really tough guys. Number nine, love this card. Because it's a tough guy sitting in the toughest of places, the penalty box. We're talking about Willie Plett in the penalty box at Madison Square Garden. Maybe he just finished the tilt. Maybe he's only serving two, but I love it. He's got the towel going. Maybe he's dusting off the knuckles after a tilt at the world's most famous arena. Now, great thing about Willie Plett, he could play as well. Dude scored 38 goals in 1980-81, playing alongside the magic man, Kent Nielsen. You have to have this card in your collection. Willie Plett, great tough guy card. Number eight, knuckles. You have to have... Chris Nyland. I mean, just look at the glare from Chris Nyland. It's not an action card. He's not cut up. It's his rookie card from 1983-84 OPG. But he's kind of giving somebody the look. I don't know. Maybe he's looking at his head coach saying, you really want me to come off right now? But Chris Nyland, he could play, man. Played at Northeastern University before he joined the Montreal Canadiens. First pro season, 79-80. You can read it on the back of the card. Get this. 45 games, 49 games in the American League. 25 goals. 304 penalty minutes. The man they call Knuckles. Fantastic card. Number seven. If you're talking tough guys, you have to talk about this guy. He only had a few cards from the major manufacturer, I'm manufacturers. I'm talking OPG, score, upper deck. And as you can tell, my cards are mostly old school in my collection. Look at this one. Link Gates. In the first round of the draft, Lou Nanny, the GM, of the Minnesota North Stars, said we drafted Mike Medano to save the franchise, and we drafted Link Gates to protect the franchise. Showed up on draft day, apparently with a couple of black eyes after getting a tilt the night before. Link Gates, man, he was huge in the WHL back in his day. Had some massive tilts. Got into a car accident when he was with San Jose Sharks. Was never quite the same after that, but the dude fought everywhere, including in the legendary LNAH in Quebec. Link Gates would take on all comers, and everybody loved to test themselves against Link Gates. Now, one of the most famous tough guys at all time, we're talking Dave Semenko, Gretzky's bodyguard. I love this card from Dave Semenko. Dave Semenko, his eyes, it was all about the eyes. He had those dark eyes and that stare that he'd give you. Dave Semenko, he could play hockey too. And the thing about Dave Semenko that not a lot of people realize, yeah, he was a tough guy, but he didn't fight a ton. Most fighting majors he ever had in a season were nine. Now, maybe a couple of them went undetected during the odd bench clearing brawl back in the day. But Dave Semenko, it was more like he'd send a message. Do we want to play? Do we want to fight? If you want to get physical, we can get physical. But a lot of times, like most legendary tough guys, Dave Semenko could keep things in order by not dropping the gloves. And some of my favorite Dave Semenko calls come from former Calgary Flames play-by-play -play announcer Ed Whalen. So many great Battle of Albertas between the Oilers and Flames back in the day. Ed Whalen, half the time he was doing play-by-play, -play, he'd never know who was in a scrap. He'd always go, who is that? And then he'd hear, you'd hear, Semenko! Give me a little Ed Whalen right now. There's a scrap with Popliski and Semenko going at each other. They're hammering away. There's been a few punches thrown in this fight and the key to this hockey game. Well, just a minute. We may have something else starting here. McClellan and Hunter. They both fall to the ice and they're hammering at each other down on the ice. Now, this is getting a little bit out of whack, isn't it? Semenko wants to get into the action. Sweet knocks. And meanwhile, Hunter gets up and he's going after McClellan. Bang it away. Love it. Dave Semenko. 
tough guy. List of tough guy hockey cards. Another man you have to have, Dave the Hammer Schultz. This is, well, during his latter years when he went from the Kings to the Penguins. But, of course, Dave Schultz played a huge, huge role in those Broad Street Bullies teams. People forget Dave Schultz, as you can see on the back of the card. He can put the puck in the net. 20 goals in 73, 74. And then, get this, the year the Philadelphia Flyers won their, what, second of two straight Stanley Cups, Dave Schultz, 472 regular season penalty minutes. Once had this epic series against the Islanders, the Islanders and the Flyers, Dave Schultz fought the toy tiger, Gary Howitt, seven times in seven games. Fantastic footage. Check it out. Maybe the king of all tough guys. And this is his rookie card. I'm so happy I have it in my collection. I'm sure you do too. It's not an expensive card, but it's one worth having. Bob Probert. Just, man, you, you talk to tough guys around the NHL. They all have much respect for Bob Probert. Bob Probert stories. This is his rookie card from 88, 89. And the back of the card with blows your mind. Penalty minutes in 87, 88. 398 PIMS. But my favorite stat, goals, 29. Bob Probert could play hockey. He could throw with the best of them. I recently talked to a tough guy about what made Probert so special back in the day. He said he always controlled the shoulders, like the other guy's shoulders. So the other guy couldn't get that loose. So even if a guy landed one, it wasn't that, wasn't that damaging. And man, Probert would do the rope a dope where he'd just come on at the end of a scrap and he would just absolutely hammer guys. Okay, number three. Love this card because I love this league. It's from the WHA. The WHA had all kinds of characters. It brought kind of a color to hockey when you think of it in the 70s. They had fantastic uniforms. Is this picture not beautiful? Machine Gun Gordy Gallant. That is one heck of a hockey card. That's a WHA card from back in the day. The Machine Gun took on all comers back in the WHA. He even had a legendary dust up with his coach, Harry Neal. When he played for the Minnesota Fighting Saints, machine gun as coach, hey, maybe, maybe got into it a little bit. Anyway, Gordy Glant ended up playing for years in the WHA, third most PIMS in WHA history. And it is playing career actually in the senior league in Newfoundland. I believe he played for the Stephenville Jets among his teammates, another tough guy, Kevin Morrison from back in the day. But that is machine gun, Gordy Glant. What a great name. Here's the other thing about the machine gun was not the biggest guy listed at 5'11", 172 pounds, but man, could he chuck him. And I just love that pose, that handlebar, that Nordiques jersey. Everything about this card screams awesome. Okay, number two on my list of top guy hockey cards. This is your penalty minutes leaders from the 75-76 season. So obviously, this card is from 76-77, the OPG set. It's got Dave Schultz on it. It's got Brian Bugsy Watson on it who was second in PIMS that season with the Detroit Red Wings, but it has Steve Durbano on it. Steve Durbano, legendary player. If you talk to guys from the 70s, every guy from the 70s has a Steve Durbano story. Now, a lot of the guys will say, Steve Durbano wasn't all that tough, but man, he was crazy. Durbano would do anything with his fists, with his stick. Man, he, he was a wild fella. He passed away a few years ago. He was up north when he passed away. But if you talk to guys from the 70s, like I said, they all have a Steve Durbano story. Uh, my favorite one, he's playing in the WHA. It's Birmingham against Indianapolis. Kevin Morrison, who was a really, really good defenseman of the WHA and also a guy who could hold his own. Man, Kevin Morrison could go with the best of them. Much along the lines of Semenko, didn't have a lot of fighting majors because guys knew not to mess with them. But on one night in the WHA, Steve Durbano messed with Kevin Morrison. Morrison's in the penalty box. Durbano's on the ice. Durbano fights off the linesman, gets to Morrison, tries fighting him from the ice. Problem, Morrison has the footing in the penalty box. It's quite a shot. Boom! Nails Steve Durbano. That's the end of that one. All right. My number one tough guy hockey card. It comes from the NHL's all-time penalty minutes leader. The reason I love this card from the 1981-82 OP Chi set is the stare. I always wonder, who is Tiger Williams looking at there? Would you like to have that stare looking at you? Tiger Williams, man. The Leafs were really never the same after they traded Tiger Williams, amongst other places. But 
Tiger Williams, Daryl Sittler, Lanny McDonald, they were legendary for the Leafs back in the day. This is from 81-82 OPG. Now, Tiger's second season in Vancouver. Listen to these stats on the back of this card, previous season before this card came out. 77 games played, 35 goals, 27 assists, 62 points, 333 penalty minutes. That's worth a lot of money. Look at that stare, man. He's just staring some poor dude down who's just about to eat his lunch. And I love the, the, the wording on the back of the card. Dave's extremely aggressive style of play has earned him over 2,000 penalty minutes in National Hockey League. He'd get about 2,000 more. Ended his career with 3,900 plus. Those are my top 10 top guy hockey cards. Let me see yours.